Hello again, everyone. So this week we are continuing on in here with chapter three, where we're starting in section 3.3 by looking at things called synthetic and polynomial long division. We're looking at ways that we can break apart polynomial functions. And then in certain special cases, what happens with the zeros in terms of what are called the remainder and factor theorems. And then that bridges us right into 3.4, where we're talking about the roots or zeros or factors of a polynomial. And in general, that's not really an easy or even possible thing to do, at least not reasonably. So we're going to see some ways that we can, if not get the exact values, at least talk about what they could be with things like the rational root or rational zero theorem, the linear factorization theorem, some properties of zeros, and then Descartes' rule of signs for being able to guess how many of them we should be able to expect. And then after that, because we're talking about a lot of things of splitting polynomials apart, we're branching off into new kinds of functions where we divide polynomials, and these are called rational functions, where we're going to see some basic properties there of how they work, how we find domains, much like what we saw earlier on in chapter two, talking about compositions and divisions of functions. And after that, we'll see some special notation for trying to figure out what happens around certain types of values using what's called arrow notation. Then we'll spend a while there on things called asymptotes and asymptotic behavior, where for this week we have a worksheet, more practice with all of this stuff. There is a lot in here, and I did decide to forego some of the stuff, especially with graphing, because like I said before, with these polynomial type things, I'm a lot more interested in you understanding the behavior than necessarily being able to tie it all together with a graph. I think there are more interesting things we can do and we can spend our time more effectively focusing on the parts rather than that not particularly interesting, at least to me, whole. But because we're going a little bit quickly here, we are actually finishing up chapter three relatively soon. So for next week, we do have our second exam already, which means we got my lab deadlines all through the week for chapter three. Like I said, it's a lot shorter than the chapter one and two unit was. So we also have a pre-assessment, which is gonna be about how you feel going into the exam, which means wait off on that until you see the study guide, which you should be expecting within this week as well. All that in mind, let's get started in here looking at section 3.3, where we are going to be talking a bit more about how we can break our polynomials apart using things like division. 